Hello viewers, welcome back again to my channel. This is what's cooking at Glorious Kitchen. Today we are going to try a new method of cooking okra. So please stay tuned. For those who are already subscribed, please welcome back. And those yet who have not yet subscribed, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget also to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So first of all, I put my pan on the heat, on the stove, then I add some, around 2 tablespoons of vegetable cooking oil, then to that oil, I add my onion. This is one medium sized onion. So I cook them over low heat and allow them to brown. Next, I add one tomato and around three cheese, green cheese. They are, they are whole, I have not sliced them, they are just whole. So I'm just adding them to my cooking tomatoes. So I'm going to cook this around five to ten, five minutes, yeah, five to ten minutes so that the tomatoes can soften. I added a little oil about a tablespoon of vegetable cooking oil because I saw that it, uh, it was little eh? so I decided to add some more yeah so I'm going to continue to stir and let it cook for a while at this point I would like also to add a pinch of salt so that it can get cooked with the tomatoes yeah so that it can be very flavorful yeah so that is the salt then I'm going to stir again Yeah, then I'm going to add some few spices. You can add black pepper. For me, I had curry powder, powder so I added it to my, to my cooking tomatoes and onions. Then I'm going to let it cook for a while, for about a minute or two. I'm going to turn my, my heat low on medium heat. Sorry, then I'm going to take my okra and add it to the mixture. Then at this point, I'm just going to stir them up together so that the okra can get intertwined or it can get the tomatoes can get inside the okra, the juicy tomatoes can come together. Yeah? Yeah, so I'm going to stir this a little more. Yeah, so all the ingredients can be incorporated, incorporated, sorry. Then I'm going to take my milk. My milk comes in here. So with my glass of milk, I'm just going to add around a quarter of the cup. Now I'm going to stir this together and let it cook for a while. Then I'm going to also come again and add the rest, but I'm just going to add like three quarters of the of the of the nani, of the cup. But if you want to add the whole of it, you can. It's, it's going to be okay, but it's not going to be that thick. But it depends on the consistency that you want. If you want it a little bit thicker, then add. Uh, you put the milk a little but if you want it to be watery and you want more stew more soup you can add the whole cup of milk so then I'm going to stir again for a little bit then I'm going to allow it to simmer and cook I'm going to cover it up and let it to cook slowly as I reduce my heat. See you when the, my okra is ready. 
Yeah, so my okra is ready. I'm back. And I've turned the heat off. And this is the result, guys. Can you see? It's so beautiful, so delicious. Guys, you cannot believe this. Milk in okra. Sorry. Okra in milk. <laughs> yeah. So let me give a test. Let me show you first. Yeah, the onions. Okra. The green pepper. It looks so yummy. So I'm going to take a little bite. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Please do not forget to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. And please do not forget also to try this recipe and comment down on the comment box below. So please try it for yourself and comment down below how it came about. How it came out, yeah? Thank you so much for guys for viewing this video to the end. Thank you, thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye, see you in my next video. Hello viewers, welcome back again to my channel. This is What's Cooking at Gloria's Kitchen. Today we are going to try a new method of cooking okra. So please stay tuned. For those who are 